Right, this is some breaking news coming in right now. This is a CNN News 18 exclusive. Top intelligence sources have revealed to News 18 about information about the Rinda Landa nexus. Now, the jail inmates have confirmed talking to Satta. This is the information that we're receiving. The Punjab police have questioned one accused in jail. He has confirmed that he got a call from Satvir Satta before and after the RPG attack. Now, Satta was apparently looking happy after the attack. The accused also confirmed to the Punjab police that this is the same consignment that came for Rinda. Now, intelligence sources have also confirmed to CNN News 18 that Satvir Satta is possibly in Spain. I'm crossing over to CNN News 18's Anshul Singh to get us more. Anshul, tell us more about the involvement of Satvir Satta and to provide our viewers with a more holistic um, perspective of this, also explain Satta's role and his criminal record. So yes, Satvir Satta is one of the most studied criminals or one of the most studied gangsters in Punjab, and especially in the Tarantaran district. He is a local over there. And over the past few years, we have seen how he has increasingly uh, increased his hold <coughs> over the entire area. Now, uh, the details that we are picking up from the Punjab police at, the, at this point in time is that he uh, that he was actually speaking to inmates inside the jail. We have been reporting this from the past two days that how other jail inmates could also be involved in, in carrying out this entire attack and how local logistical support could have been provided by inmates who were inside the jail. And now this has been confirmed to us by intelligence sources. So yes, um, this seems to this is a big development that is coming in from, uh, in the entire investigation that is being carried out uh, by the intelligence agencies in this matter. And also, Sathi Sadha could possibly in, be in Spain. And this is also a big development as the intelligence agencies can, have now finally a tag on that on Sathi Sadha and Sadha, and they could actually uh, track his location. So. Um, if you see, these are the, this actually exposes the entire criminal nexus or the gangster nexus and how it is very prevalent in Punjab, even after uh, there has been a lot of effort by the Punjab government to make sure that uh, these, ne these nexus is broken. But yes, something like that doesn't seem to be happening at this point in time. Also, mm -hmm. it remains to, also, it remains to be seen as to how quickly uh, can the Punjab, Punjab police and the Punjab government actually get to the bottom of this because this is a second such attack on a police establishment which has brought major embarrassment to the not only to the Punjab government but also to the people of Punjab and this definitely raises a lot of questions on the security that could be provided in the border state by yes. the Amadi party government in Punjab. Yes, Anshul, thank you so much for joining us and providing us with that update. Let's listen in to some reactions that we have on this story. Well, this uh, prima facie seems to be uh, um, border smuggling, an attempt at smuggling, and therefore uh, uh, this is the this is what is DGP Gaurav Yadav seemed to suggest that there was a low intensity blast in Tarantaran in Punjab, and uh, probe, probe will has been lodged and even BSF and the other central agencies will also investigate. ऐसे मामलात में अंदेशा लगाने की जरूरत नहीं है। ऐसे मामलात के अंदर investigation करने की जरूरत है। Investigation करना चाहिए। जो भी लोग जिम्मेदार हैं, उनके खिलाफ कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए। और अमित शाह जी तो बार-बार कहते हैं कि जब से सरकार आई है, आतंकी हमले खत्म हो गए। उनकी जिम्मेदारी investigate kare aur jo bhi zimmedar hai usko qanoon ke hawale kare main bhi yahan par abhi subah se hum log meeting ka daur chal raha tha abhi ye breaking news hai maine bhi dekha hai to main yahi prarthna karta hu ki wahan par kisi ko kisi jaan maal ke nuksan na hua ho aur atankwadiyon ke khilaf sakht se sakht kathor karwai ki jaye